I have a haul video for today, which I haven't done in a while, and I'm so excited to film it. I'm really not. <laughs> First thing I'm going to show you is something that probably not very interesting, but thought I'd share it with you anyway. My new deodorant. Why not? It's Sure Maximum Protection Stress Control. Like, I'm not a stressy person. Well, actually I am. <laughs> you know this thing that you twist and the product comes up? It's so loud! Like, it clicks so loud. The next thing is from Superdrug. I have quite a few bits in here. I don't know if you heard that because that bag was really loud. The first thing I got was this Duo Eyelash Glue. It is in the dark tone, so basically when you squeeze a product out it comes out dark rather than white, which is like the usual type. The next thing is this foundation. I have been wanting to use this foundation for the past, oh, how long has it been? Like three weeks, four weeks since I bought this and I've still not opened it yet because I didn't want to open it before this video and I can't wait to open this because I've not tried it before. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I really, really want to try it. <laughs> That was quite dramatic. It's the Healthy Mix Serum by Bourgeois, 10.99 from Superdrug, and yeah, I will probably do like a semi-review on it as I'm using it in videos, rather than a whole video just for this foundation. The next thing I got is this. It is a baked, vivid baked. What was it? Vivid baked bronzer from Revolution, and. Again, I've not opened this product because of this video, but I did obviously swatch it in the shop because, um, well, I don't just pick it up and buy it, obviously I swatched it. Anyway, um, I can't remember how much it was, let me see, where's the receipt? Makeup Revolution is quite cheap, so £4, so it's quite a, a big size product, I will definitely be using this in a video, and again I might do like a semi-review on it as I'm using it. This is pretty boring, but you know, I thought I'd share it with you anyway. 97p from Superdrug. Impulse Tease Body Spray. Pretty good stuff. It smells quite nice. The last thing I got from Superdrug is this lipstick from MUA. It's just a black lipstick. £1, so really cheap, obviously. And I've completely squashed the top of it because I don't know if this is just my one, but if I can show you. Okay, this is broken. So, oh, now I've got black lipstick on my fingers. So basically this thing here is broken, the thing that you twist it with. And obviously I thought I had twisted it down enough, but clearly this bit was up. So it looked like it, the lipstick was down, but actually when you pushed this broken bit down, the lipstick was still showing at the top. But obviously I didn't realize that. So when I pushed the lid on, it squashed the top of my lipstick. I will also be doing uh, makeup. Whoops. <laughs> I will also be doing makeup tutorials with using the black lipstick. I now have boots, which is a really big bag for like three tiny items. Anyway, that was before the whole five p bag thing, which is really annoying. I got a three for two in Maybelline, so I decided to get these three items. I had to go back for this, which is oh, so annoying. Like, it's Maybelline the Falsies Mascara, before I forget to mention. Do you ever get that thing where you're basically going to buy something that you just run out of? You feel like, oh, why do I have to buy it, that? It's so irritating. Like, because you know you, you, well, you don't need it, but you know you want it, because you run out of it. But at the same time, it's like, oh. I don't want to have to buy you. Like, why can't you just be there all the time? I don't know. I don't know if that's just me that feels that way, but yeah. This Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I got it in the shade Nude. Is it Nude? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Um. Oh yeah, Nude. <laughs> it's right at the bottom. They only had light and nude, so I was a bit like, well, it's a bit silly. <laughs> but I feel like this colour will be alright for me anyway. I hope. And yes, I have tried the foundation version of this and I didn't like it, that was quite a few years ago, but I do hear a lot of good things about this so I want to try it. So that, and then the last thing I got, which is obviously the cheapest, um, is this Super Stay 7 Day Gel Nail Colour by Maybelline. <laughs> 
it's in the shade Rose. The very last thing is from Kiko. Now, I love Kiko. If you've not been there before, you really should. It's good quality makeup that is very affordable. This is the Eye Base Primer. It's just the normal one, so it, you can get one that's like a pearl. I think it's called Pearl, and obviously it's got that pearly shine to it, but this one is just a normal eye primer. It was only £6.90, so it's really cheap. The Urban Decay one is the one that I actually use. Some people do say that this is a good dupe for the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which if it is true, then obviously it is way cheaper, like way cheaper. This is £6.90. Urban Decay one, I'm pretty sure, is about £18. Even if it's not a dupe, but it's still really good, I will obviously be using it. To start with, I'm going to show you this jumper. I showed you it in my Autumn Favourites video, and um, I mentioned that I would show in a haul, so here it is. Basically, it's just a nice grey, kind of thick jumper, and it has like a polo style neck kind of thing, like a high neck, but I do like to roll it down just a little bit so it looks like that. It is a little bit itchy, which is kind of annoying, but other than that I love wearing it and it goes with pretty much anything. The next item is kind of boring, but it's one that's kind of essential to have in your wardrobe. Just a basic t-shirt, this one is a scoop neck as you can see, and it also has really long sleeves which I like. I say really long, they're not like extra long, but I just like um, long sleeve t-shirts because obviously the weather's getting a bit colder now and also I like to wear stuff like this with things that are sleeveless, like a sleeveless cardigan. The next thing is kind of boring as well, it's just a plain black scarf, which was £3. I don't know what shape it is, I feel like it's going to be like a long rectangle shape. I bought it mainly so that I could wear it around my head because um, I like to do like a turban sometimes, which you've probably seen in my previous videos and that's the main reason why I got it, but I can also use it around my neck as well, obviously. The next thing I want to show you is actually, um, it's, just, it's a bit of a weird one. So basically it's these boots, which are, can you see that? They are that really high kind of over the knee boot. They are nice and suede as well. I basically, I have boots like this but they're leather and they're from Kurt Geiger so they're quite expensive. So I thought it'd be nice to get a suede pair that is a lot cheaper as well. But every single Primark I went into, I say every single one, I only went to three different Primarks. But basically at the bottom here, this is the back of the shoe, at the bottom here it's always ripped. Every single boot is just ripped. So I feel like it must be like a manufacturing thing. So yeah, I did still want them knowing that I could sew them up. So I did ask for 10% discount, which I did get, so obviously I paid £18 instead of £20. But um, when you do that, like if you decide to do the same thing as me, you have to remember that you can't have a refund and you can't exchange them either. From Primark is this bag. It's just a plain black leather style bag but it's got the gold detailing here, and it's also, uh, it won't show, or does it show, there. It's also got like the gold section here and here. It does come with a big strap as well, but I don't actually like it on this bag. I feel like it looks better like this. But I think what makes the bag is the handles. It's got that snake um, skin kind of look handle. I think that is what makes the bag look nice. And these are the last thing to show you from Primark. These are £4 and they are the memory foam ones. They do come in different colours, I'll probably go back and get the other ones. Let's be honest, they say memory foam but, you know, after a few times wearing them they do go a little bit flat. But they're still, they're still soft, but they're just not as soft. So it's not like a high quality memory foam. These trainers are from Adidas and they are running shoes, so I did get them to use in our gym because I need to work out and I didn't have any trainers to work out in so I got these. They're from Sports Direct and they were £25. You can get these in like a black and a grey, which I did prefer. I wore them in my recent vlog to London, which I'll leave linked below, and oh, my feet just felt like they were on cushions like the whole day. Ooh. 
The boots are these ankle boots from River Island. I'm not a massive fan of River Island, but I like these boots. <laughs> I like it a lot. They were £40, maybe? Can't remember. I think about £40. But anyway, you can see them online. They still do them. That is pretty much it for this haul. Please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already because I have a lot more videos coming up. I am also having my plastic surgery done, so stay tuned for those vlogs. Also go follow me on Twitter because that is where I can communicate with you and chat to you. And also you can also, also you can also, also you can talk to me on there as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.